Hi everyone, I am Neha Agrawal. I'm the founder of Wise Up and I'm back with another video to make research easy for you. In this video, I will share some amazing features of the AI tool Perplexity and explain how you can utilize it for free for most of your research work. I can guarantee that after watching this video, you will start using Perplexity as often as ChatGPT. Also, towards the end, I have shared the best feature of Perplexity for researchers not offered by other AI tools yet. So do watch this video till the very end. And now, without further delay, let's get started. Perplexity AI is an AI-powered research assistant that gives accurate source-backed information. Think of it as your personal research guide who has all the time in the world to answer your questions, and that too, correctly. Now, say for instance, you need to finalize a topic for your research proposal. Simply ask Perplexity. For example, here I'm going to type, give me research topic ideas on impact of climate change on biodiversity. And if you see, Perplexity is going to search the entire web and give us a couple of great research topic ideas on which we can write our proposal on. Now here, if you see, you can also check the sources from which it has gotten its information from. Now some of these are research papers, while some of them are online articles as well. Now say for example, we wanted to go through only scholarly articles and research papers and not search the entire web. Then what I can do is set this preference right in the beginning. Here if you see, if I click on this web icon, I get the option where I can switch off this web option and switch on only academic, which says scholarly and research papers. And now if I ask it the same question again, I can be confident that I'm getting only research bagged answers to my question, which if I would have gone through Google Scholar looking for papers would have taken me at least weeks to finalize some of these topic ideas myself. So next time, don't go running to your professor asking them, what can I do my research on? Instead, take some amazing topics and surprise them. Now say you have the research topic, but you have no idea about this field at all. Simply ask Perplexity, give me some review papers on this topic. And Perplexity will generate a list of most relevant review papers for you, along with a line of description of what each review paper contains. Now, if you click on the citation, it will take you to the journal website. However, chances are you might not be able to access some of these papers if you don't have a paid subscription for them. So what are we going to do? We are going to modify our search and we are going to ask, give me open access review papers on this topic. Open access here is the magic word, which means papers which are free to access on the internet and immediately perplexity will update its list. Now, if you click on the citation, it will take you to the journal website where you will have PDFs which are free for you to access. Now, let's take the case that you are reading one of these papers, but you're not able to understand some of the concepts or you want to critically evaluate the paper, which means that you want to know what are some of its limitations, what are its trends, what are its overall contribution to the field. Here also, you can ask Perplexity. Upload the PDF on Perplexity and then ask these questions. Perplexity will go through the entire document and find the relevant answers for you, helping you understand the paper properly. In fact, say there is a complex schematic diagram or a graph that you are unable to read. That also you can understand through Perplexity. Here, I'm going to simply upload the paper and then ask Perplexity. I'm not able to understand these figures. Can you please explain them to me and what they mean? How am I supposed to interpret the information? And what does it mean in reference to this paper? And very nicely, you will see that Perplexity has explained most of these things in very simple terms. In fact, it has gone ahead and explained some of the underlying concepts to understand these diagrams and graphs, which are usually not included in a research paper because the research paper is written for a specialist audience and we assume that our audience will know how to interpret them. But Perplexity has explained these concepts and help us understand the paper better. Also, a unique feature to Perplexity are these questions that appear at the bottom of our search results. These are quite intuitive in nature and can also give us some ideas and suggestions as to what we should ask Perplexity to get the best information out of it. So you should definitely check out these questions as well. 
Now another place where I found perplexity really useful is in shortlisting the journals for publication. Simply upload your abstract or the entire paper and ask perplexity to suggest the relevant journals for you. But before you do that, you need to make sure that your data is not being used for training. So for this, go under settings and then switch off the AI data retention button. This way you can be confident that the data from your research paper is not going to be leaked on the internet or used for training the models. Now you can go ahead and ask Perplexity to suggest some of the relevant journals for you. Here if you see Perplexity is showing me some of the best journals and along with a line of what are the scope of these journals. Now what I can do is be more specific with my search terms. For example, I can ask, can you give me open access Scopus index journals for my research paper? Or could you please provide me journals which have impact factor less than 10 and publishing time less than three months? So you can play around with these search terms in order to identify some of the best journals most suited for your requirements. Now coming to the final and the most promising feature of perplexity that I spoke about in the beginning of my video and that is the spaces feature. Spaces is basically a collaborative space where multiple team members can come in. For example, your final year project group members or your research team members and you can define as to how for that particular project the tool should be giving you suggestions and what sources it should be referring to. So first what I need to do is create a space and then give it a title. For example, here I am giving climate change project and under description I am going to write final year project on effect of climate change on biodiversity and under custom instructions I will mention specific details for example I want you to be an academician or a researcher expert in the field of climate change and provide me with accurate and latest information on the topic from trusted academic sources and that's it your space is created now here you can either work alone or you can invite your team members to come and collaborate with you. Now the best feature of the spaces section is that you can define as to which sources perplexity should be referring in order to give you the information. Now say for instance you've already gathered a lot of literature and relevant links and you just want perplexity to refer to those and give you the answer. Then all you need to do is upload your literature onto the platform, the links that you have and ask perplexity. For example, which is the best paper that gives the solution to climate change or which paper offers the best insights and perplexity will have the answer. The only challenge that I found here is that you're not able to upload multiple literature until and unless you have the pro plan. However, the search feature is more or less free for you to use. Now here under the search section also you have four different options as you can see. For example, you want the search to happen only between the literature that you have uploaded and other academic sources on the internet. Then you can ask perplexity to do that. Or say for example you want the search to happen from the web and the chat that you've had here then perplexity can accordingly give you this answer. And in the spaces area all your chats and threads will be in one place for you to refer to them whenever you want. Your team members can also add new chats, see the chats that you have had and in this way you can enjoy this collaborative space, a unique feature that I love about Perplexity. So everyone, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Hope you've gotten a good understanding of how to use Perplexity for free for your research work. Now if you know of any other way how we can utilize this AI tool, then please mention it in the comments below and I will try and make another video on it soon. Now if you want to learn in detail how to write a research paper, how to choose a research topic and all the AI tools that you can use to make this process easy for you, then you can join me for my course on A to Z of research paper writing. To know more, the link is in the description and in the pinned comment. And now. Thank you so much for watching this video and I wish you have a fantastic research journey ahead.